Hello everyone, this is Wearable Pediatric Stethoscope Team from Georgia Tech. I'm Sung Hun Lee, a graduate research assistant under Dr. Eun Hong Yeo, and today we want to present to you wearable disposable band-aid-like pediatric stethoscope for continuous remote modern heart and lung sounds. We have Dr. Yoon Sung Kim, a research faculty in the Center for Human Centered Interfaces and Engineering, and Dr. Eun Hong Yeo, the director of the center and the team. Current problem with the home monitoring of pediatrics using digital stethoscopes is that it is not self-operable. It causes motion artifacts due to human error. Also, since auscultation requires a lot of training and practice, monitoring without supervision by a healthcare professional degrades objectiveness in diagnosis. Finally, in order to secure digital stethoscopes on pediatrics, strong adhesives or pressure straps can be worn, but since an epidermis of pediatrics is one third of the adults, Injuries could happen on sensitive pediatric skin, shown on the bottom right picture. When looking into digital stethoscopes on the market, we found these devices to be very bulky and heavy. Thus, there is no way to use these devices for continuous monitoring of heart and lung sounds. These devices are also rigid, which leads to a lot of friction, especially when measuring lung sounds. The resulting friction noise can be very dangerous as it can mimic abnormalities in the data points. This would then lead to an accurate judgment by the physician in the altered course of action for the patient. Here, we introduce our solution, wireless, skin-mounted, and disposable pediatric wearable stethoscope that integrates soft electronics for continuous and remote cardiopulmonary auscultation. This mountable device could detect and transmit body sounds, allow remote and continuous analysis of pediatrics. It accurately receives and stores body sounds and local memories of mobile devices, but most importantly, it is small, lightweight, giving less mechanical burden as possible to pediatrics. It is also flexible and stretchable, eliminating motion artifacts when the subject's in motion, which a lot of pediatrics do. So what are some underlying technologies here? As you can see from the first picture on top left, it is 25 by 52 in size and seven millimeters thick, giving a small form factor that fits on pediatrics. From the picture on the top right, we have tested out a soft material-based skin adhesion for the various devices in our research group. And the following picture on the bottom is the actual picture of the same materials tested on pediatrics. The device mounted on the baby is an ECG device, but the overall silicone adhesives are the same as a wearable stethoscope device. Finally, on the bottom left, it shows real-time and remote monitoring using an Android application. Using the wearable stethoscope, we measure various sounds, including heart, lung sounds, and a normal heart or lung sounds. And the bottom picture shows an image of the recommended auscultation points. This is the actual heart sounds collected from the pediatric stethoscope. By looking at the sound plot of the heart sounds filtered at 60 to 500 grits, you see the distinct S1 and S2 peaks. We have further visualized this with a spectrogram, and you can see the distinct S1 and S2 peaks on there as well. Similar with lung sounds, we have collected the actual lung sounds from the device, and you can clearly see the inhale and exhale points. So next up is wheeze. Um, a wheeze is caused by airway obstruction and is seen mainly during expiratory phase. You should be able to recognize the high-pitched continuous tone playing for the Wii sound. We have further visualized this with a spectrogram, and you can see the distinct pattern for the Wii's ranging from approximately 200 to 400 hertz. By the way, these recordings are from adult subjects. We still need to figure out how to optimize the device to pediatrics, but it certainly will be a great opportunity to test these out with pediatrics. So lastly, our future goals are our team will be receiving valuable feedbacks from pediatric professionals and healthcare providers, pilot study with pediatric patients if any opportunities rise, improve hardware and software optimized for pediatrics, and finally, further improve on filtration methods suitable for pediatric cardiopulmonary sounds. We appreciate your time watching through this presentation, but we greatly look forward to future opportunities with pediatric healthcare providers to close the immense innovation gap in children's digital health.